We're going to talk about stretching versus strengthening today and how it can help you run injury free. Hi everyone, my name is Steve Gans, a physical therapist with RenSmart, and I want to talk to you about the stretching for strengthening concept. Uh, stretching for strengthening concept because a lot of people get these mixed up a little bit, and it doesn't help you prevent injury when it does get mixed up. If you want help, uh, be sure to check out the link in the post. There's a link to a two-week trial for the RunSmart app. That'll give you all the strength workouts, stretches, training plans, everything you need to run injury-free. So if you struggle with your running, you struggle to stay consistent due to injury, uh, the RunSmart app is perfect for you. So there's this concept, and people have it backwards, um, that, well, actually they don't have it backwards. When they try to strengthen, they like to isolate. Like, they're like, oh, I need to isolate my glute. I need to strengthen my glute. And they'll try to do things that isolate that muscle group out. And truthfully, when you're looking at strengthening, the concept of strengthening that we use with our patients is that you need to, by the way, this is my chic lumberjack look, uh, as I've been told. Um, but uh, when you're looking at strengthening, is you muscles fire in connection with each other. So you want to tie in a lot of muscle groups at once, and you want to tweak in and tweak out muscle groups. So for example, the easiest thing to think about is a clamshell, right? So you can isolate your glute need in a clamshell, but again, your foot's off the ground, and that's not really how the muscle functions. The muscle functions to stabilize your pelvis when you're standing and when you're running. So instead of doing that clamshell, we want to work on that hip strength from here. So a speed skater works really well, and I'm sore from my workout yesterday, but a speed skater works really well because we dip that pelvis and we teach the muscle to pull it up. While we're doing that, we're also targeting our quad, our ankle, our balance. So we're sinking a lot of muscle groups up. And the speed skater and a lot of that functional strength is exactly what we do. We like to call it runner specific because we want to use those muscles like we use them in running. And the clamshell doesn't do that. Our speed skater, our rotational lunges for posture and our upper back, those do great with that. Now, when we look at, <laughs> you like the lumberjack look, I'm glad someone likes it. I get picked on a lot for this one. But um, the, if anyone's watching afterwards, there was a comment that said that I'm not just going off script. Uh, but when we look at stretching, um, stretching is very much about isolating because the, the tricky thing with your stretching is that when you try to stretch something, the body loves to compensate. So we want to try to isolate our stretching so that we can tie into that muscle directly because when you start to stretch on a muscle, once it gets out of its rope and it doesn't have any length, it'll start grabbing from everywhere and just moving other parts. So we love to isolate these muscle groups. And again, this is exactly what we do with the Run Smart app. We have a lot of these strength workouts and exercises, but I want to show you an example. Um, and if you're interested in more, if you struggle to run injury free, check out the link in this post in a two week trial to the Run Smart app. So a good example of this is when people try to stretch their quad. They love to pull their heel to their butt. Not only does that compress the knee a lot and cause some pain there, but a lot of times what ends up happening is they like to arch their back when they do this, and one of the quad muscles attaches to the pelvis. So as you're trying to stretch the quad, people will arch their back as that compensation. So we want to isolate when we stretch. A good example, again, is that quad. So when we get that foot up, we don't want to be sitting here with this vast, massive arch. You actually want to flatten that out and I don't have to go anywhere from here because just flattening that quad pulls up on the pelvis and stretches the quad out versus like people will do this a lot in the clinic and they just, they compensate through the stretch. So when you're thinking about strengthening, when you're thinking about stretching, always remember you want to strengthen a group of muscles and you want to isolate when you stretch and that's exactly how you can get the most out of it. And believe me, if you focus on this, you focus on good strength, good stretching, that is the ticket for injury if you're running. And if you want some help, check out the link in the post and try actually our full strength workouts and all the stretches for your hammies, your calves, your hip flexors, whatever is tight on you. And I um, promise you guys, if you're consistent, it'll help your running. And that's what I have to tell you about today. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for watching. Uh, I gotta go chop down a tree now. So I'll go do that. Bye everyone.